Hello what's up, Ali here. And on this video, we will share the latest release of the PPPWN Lite. We will show how to use this to jailbreak your PS4. What are the changes it had from the last version? Is it worth using this latest version? And who would benefit on this latest release? We will also test this to show real-time the stability of this version and provide our feedback at the end of this video. So please do stick around. For the link, you will find it in our description. You can also check every major changes it had from its last release. And to download, simply click on this part. Now you may definitely get this notification since it will be recognized as a virus by your computer, but you don't have to worry. For this is completely safe and you can just go ahead and choose keep file. Now just go ahead and locate your file and extract it in its folder so you can keep it organized. Now let us go to our PS4 and connect it to our PC directly using Ethernet cable and prepare it for the jailbreak using this PPPWN Lite. Now let us go back to our PC and open this application inside the extracted folder. And here, click on the drop-down menu and choose your firmware. You can use this application on a firmware as low as 7.0 to activate PPPWN exploit. Click OK and also on this icon to change more option. One of the major changes or updates this has is it can start up along with your windows and uh, will also shut down after activating the jailbreak. This is good for those who only uses their system to activate their jailbreak which can save them a little more time and some clicks. Now let us go ahead and try this application and see how many attempts will it needs to activate our jailbreak and how long will it take. Press start on the application to start the process and if you are stuck on the waiting you can just go ahead and close the application and run it again. Once you get to this part and it fails, all you have to do is just rerun or retry the process. And if ever it gets stuck on a certain part, all you have to do is just close and rerun the application. If it completed the process and it fails, the system or the application will automatically restart itself. So we were able to activate the jailbreak after two fails in about one and a half minutes. Based on our test even before this, do you even need to update your tool? Well, what I can recommend is update only if you are not satisfied with the current tool and version you are using right now. Since basically, these updates are supposed to fix some previous issues and add some features. But if you're already good with your current tool, I don't find any significant changes on this update. But if you like the added features, then you may want to give it a shot. But personally, if you're using Lite, I would stay with uh, the version 3.1 or 3.9. And uh, just a little addition, if you are getting this error message when trying to launch this application, simply go to the task manager, look for the PPPWN Lite, 
and end task. So this will be it for now. If you have any questions or suggestions, please go ahead and share them on our comment section and I will definitely address them. And again, my name is Ali. If you find this video helpful, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will definitely see you on our next video. Bye-bye.